Hi, I'm James Landau. For to celebrate the 20th anniversary of September 11th, here's a song recorded on September 12th, along with my September 12th. This song is called Where Were You? Not the Alan Jackson song. Yes, it's a parody of Alan Jackson's tribute to 9-11 and human reactions. This one catalogs the less than admirable reactions many people had to 9-11. I remember when we millennials got skewered after 9-11 for not marching behind President Bush like everyone else. It was a hard time to be young in America. We had the fear of terrorism and the trouble with all the overzealous jingoists. Some 40-year-old Jonesers telling 20-year-old millennials, how dare you speak out against Bush's position on gay marriage, or legalizing marijuana, or no child left behind, or oil drilling, or whatever, yeah. So anyway, this is the first time I wrote a parody of a country song. Here you go, Where Were You? Not the Alan Jackson song. Where were you when the stores were closing? On that September day, were you in the bedroom with your boy or girlfriend or shopping for some black lingerie? Did you blame Hollywood and LGBT folks, feminists and Norman Lear? Did you relive old traumas, call someone Osama or drink your troubles down with a beer? Want to close all our borders, try executive order 9066 with brown folks. Kind of like FDR did, call flag burners retarded, call the tower collapsing a hoax. Join the GOP club as a partisan hack. Make the case for shrub moving on to Iraq. Look at cop bashing teens, say you better respect them. Stick a flagpole sharp end up a protester's rectum. Did you get on the Bush bandwagon show support for that illiterate man? Man, he sure hates France, but I'm not sure he could tell you the difference between France and Japan. GOP, source for Jesus, claim God's on their side. Militarism unites the repubs. Lies, hate, and fear many presidents gave us. And the worst one was shrub. Where were you when the schools were closing on that September day? Having decadent meals at the Cheesecake Factory or whinging about moral decay. Do you say terror is the only issue that matters? Change your party registration at once. Did your conscience now trouble you that you once bashed up you? Did you vow to get behind that dunce? When his teacher said your kid wouldn't stand for the pledge, did you ground your kid an entire week? Did you beat up the first Arab-looking person you saw and find out he was actually Sikh? Did you want to speak out against blind jingoism, but then think it best to keep mum? Self-righteously pronounce that you're either with the Bushies or else you're with terrorist scum. Did you give pollsters a thumbs up on holsters, speaking praise of Carrie Conceal? Did you put your faith in old Donald Rumsfeld, not realize he's a slick, slimy eel? 
did you get on the Bush bandwagon show support for that illiterate man? Man, he sure hates France, but I'm not sure he could tell you the difference between France and Japan. GOP source for Jesus claim God's on their side. Militarism unites three pubs. Lies, hate, and fear many presidents gave us. And the worst one was shrub. Did you get on the Bush band wagon show support for that illiterate man? Man, he sure hates France, but I'm not sure he could tell you the difference between France and Japan. GOP source for Jesus claims God's on their side. Militarism unites three pubs. Lies, hate, and fear many presidents gave us. And the worst one was shrub. And the worst one was shrub. And the worst one was shrub. Where were you with the airports closing on that September day? Yeah, where were you? Not the Alan Jackson song. For those who are interested in a less snarky song, check out September 12th, which I uploaded today as well. Yeah, so thanks for listening, and as always, I'm looking for more subscribers. I'm James Landau.